Let's go catch play an instant ramen, a cup noodle simulator. Well, it's insta ramen. Yes, it's. The, the, you said sure. instant. Eh, yeah, forget it. Ah. 11.42 p.m. It's late and you're tired from working on project after project, code after code. Looking at your computer screen just makes your head spin even more. Ugh. You realize you haven't eaten dinner yet after grinding through your projects. <sighs> it's difficult to remember to eat sometimes. Mm. Arg. Arg. But it's late and you're too tired to cook a real meal. Maybe this calls for another night of instant ramen. Ooh. But maybe you'll add some more ingredients today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like me. That sounds like the move for tonight. Mmm. You walk to your kitchen and fish out a bowl of instant ramen from the stash. Mm. You know the stash of instant ramen that everyone has. Yes, yes. Now, it's time to really think about what you're adding to your ramen. Now, is it a cup or is it a package? <laughs> Will you make a masterpiece? Or will you experiment with interesting ingredients? Depends which ones they have. First, you need to choose a base. What are you choosing tonight? Uh, Use the number row keys to select what base you'd like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spicy, soy sauce, miso, tonkatsu. Yes. Uh, you like spicy. Next, choose your toppings. Ham, soft boiled egg, fried tofu, chicken nuggets. Uh, eggs usually pretty good. Green onions, minced garlic, cilantro, or a whole lemon. Oh. Try a lemon. Well, it's a whole lemon. You don't cut it. Oh. All right. Japanese seven spice, seaweed, sesame seeds, or cinnamon. Cinnamon's pretty weird, but I'll go with Japanese. One. Okay. Chili oil, kupi, kupai, mayo, barbecue sauce, or chocolate magic shell. Uh, uh, one. <laughs> okay, bonus. You, tapatio, ice cream cone, fish cake. Hmm. Probably tapatio. Sure, tapatio. Done selecting ingredients. Oh, pretty strange. Um, there it is. Thank God you can handle spice. It makes your ramen nights so much more flavorful. Uh. Surprisingly easier to make than you expected. Uh, the yolk is the perfect texture, gooey, and cooked to perfection. Who knew such a simple ingredient would be so multidimensional? Or simply put, it slaps. <laughs> are you... are you... L lemon grab or something? Hmm. Who adds a whole lemon into their ramen? It's not even sliced. Though I think if you did slice, it could go well with the broth. Maybe you'll take a bite out or of it or it's dead. Whoa. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Sprinkling spices. You add a little bit of sashimi, the <clears throat> Japanese seven spice that gives your ramen a little bit of kick. Fun fact, a typical blend of sashimi <laughs> includes roasted orange peel and poppy seeds. Sashimi. It stings your throat and somehow stains all your white clothes but it's so yeah good the slight spice is a perfect accent to your instant ramen dinner and brings back memories of your past both the warm and the cold the pain and the growth mm -hmm. stains and una salsa muy salsa it's una salsa yeah so it seems weird and whoever this is <laughs> cup noodle goddess appears oh Hello there, I see that you've completed your bowl of instant ramen for the night. I'm back and ready to see what you've made today. I've never seen you before. This is the Cup Noodle Goddess. You don't remember when she first started showing up, but she just did one day. Ah. Uh. You should probably lock the doors and the windows and maybe she was looking out for you, making sure you eat a fulfilling meal but you don't seem to mind her visits every time you make a bowl of instant ramen. Not uh, crazy. She sees you at your low points late at 3 a.m., but you don't seem to mind that. Yeah. Hello, uh, are you awake? You look back and focus, and she gives a slight smile. 
Yeah. Yeah, hello, Cup Noodle Goddess. Pleasure seeing you again. The pleasure is all mine. Can I see what you made for dinner tonight? No. Uh, she peers over and looks at the bowl of ramen you made. <laughs> Hot diggity shit, that is a baller bowl of instant ramen. She's pretty trendy. <laughs> spicy, spicy. I could never handle how you amount of spice. I don't even know how you all do it. I know many Korean people who love spicy instant noodles. I wish I could handle the spice so I could uh, try them all. My absolute favorite ramen topping. Um, have you tried marinating the soft boiled egg in a mixture of soy sauce and marin, marin overnight? Huh. I think it's supposed to be marinate. Yes. <laughs> I always make mine like, uh, like that and they come out so tasty and flavorful. Why? I don't understand. Is that a whole lemon? Ugh. The leaf is still on it. Uh, perhaps this is some kind of, uh, herbal remedy I haven't even heard of? Uh, like how... Uh, like how there's a hot spring of, with cute capybaras and use old fruit floating in it and, uh, but just... Uh, and a perfectly good bowl of ramen. Hmm. Uh... You look like it uh, tastes uh, a little bit of spice is in your ramen. Good choice. The flavors of the sashimi spices pair really well. And with the ramen broth and other toppings. And it is, uh, it isn't too overpowering either. Mm. Oh, I particularly, I particularly like this one. Reminds me of the friend I had whose tears were made of chili oil. I hope she's doing okay now. <laughs> es una salsa de muy salsa. Hmm. <laughs> what a bowl of ramen you made tonight. I just wanted to check in and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Wait, is she I, I think she erased her name. <laughs> uh, that's fine. And I just want to let you know that even if you have other things to focus on in life, I'm glad you still take the time to sit down and make a meal for yourself. Even if there's a whole lemon in it. Yeah, even though it's just a simple bowl of instant ramen. With a lemon. Hmm. Well, I'll see you another day. Take care of yourself. Ah. Okay, enjoy. Press R to restart. A. And space. Space. Duck. Okay, now we have to actually wait for it to go through. Mm, or it's gonna die. Yeah. From. Well, at space. least it's fast. Yes. Because some of the other ones take like a very long time. Mm hmm. Okay, it should be almost there. No, I just have to keep hitting space and then hit numbers. Yeah, I'm saying it's like almost there. There it is. Okay, wanna make like a weird one? Oh. There's soy sauce, miso, and tonkatsu. Uh, four. Okay, what's our topping? Uh, chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget. Four. <laughs> four again. Oh, wait, yeah. And then uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon. And then chocolate magic shell. Mm hmm. And then ice, ice cream, cream cone. cone. Done selecting ingredients. Uh, there. You know that the katsu base was a lot more expensive than the others. Yeah. Ah, yes, leftover chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Delicious. Perfection. Beautifully crispy. Crispy? <laughs> well, oh, uh, now you can't stop talking in uwu. Such in the poet of McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah, we already saw that. Yeah, I already saw that. The uh, it. Cinnamon. It could be good. Perhaps the sweetness of the cinnamon will help balance out the saltiness that is instant ramen. Make sure to not add too much or else you might choke like in the cinnamon challenge. Yeah. Okay, what are you thinking? You know how magic shell hardens when you put it <laughs> put it on ice cream? Oh, what's that? And you get this nice chocolate shell. What if you put it on something hot? Not sure why you chose ramen to test that, but go you, I guess. 
go you, I guess. Did you see this on TikTok or something? I know that there's a restaurant in Japan that adds a soft serve cone to their spicy ramen, but didn't think you'd actually try it. Let me let me know how that goes for your toilet later. Uh that good. What do you think about what I made? I'm here yet again. I uh, use the most expensive broth. Mm-hmm. Uh, ruined introduction. It. But, but, uh. No, I think it's fine. I just skipped it. It seemed like it didn't, like, mess up or mm -hmm. anything, but, eh. Uh, uh. Okay. She appears over and looks at her bowl of ramen. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry to read that. Okay. <laughs> I think it works. It's, um, chicken katsu. Just nuggets instead, honestly. Uh, the more I think about it, the uh, more I think it would work. Um, maybe I'll have this when I get off work. <laughs> why? I don't understand a whole time. Yep. I'm not sure why you chose to put cinnamon in the ramen. Um, do you like the cinnamon challenge or something? Uh, though it does remind me of the Chinese five spice blend. Uh, let me know uh, how that tastes later. Ugh. No comment on the magic shell. Uh, I see what you're doing. Mm, I know that there's a ramen restaurant in uh, Japan that added stuff. Uh, yeah, you already said that. But I don't know if I ever try it myself. Mm. Perhaps I should try it, uh, or you can tell me next time I, I get some. Mm. What a bowl of ramen you made tonight. I just wanted to check in and make sure to do it, and yeah. <laughs> same stuff for that. Ooh, -ooh. Yeah, it's not that simple. <laughs> okay, now I'll try to actually make like the best thing? I don't know. Maybe. Can you actually, like, do that? So far, it's working. I only, like, died a little at the end where I just, like, put a W. I think I'm just, like, going too fast or something. I don't know. Okay. Um. Miso? A uh, miso soup. And then. Fried tofu? Mm hmm. And then. It's garlic or cilantro. Mmm, cilantro. Okay. And then seaweed. Eh, mm. mm. uh, sure. And then mayo, barbecue sauce. I'm guessing mayo? No. The best one would be chili oil, but still. But let's try mayo. the mayo. Uh, fish cake. Mmm, -hmm, that's normal. Okay. So, what would happen if we put you in it? If you put yourself in it. Okay, fried tofu is perfect. Crispy on the outside, soft and squishy on the inside. You know that if you let the tofu sit in the broth for a while, it will become a sponge of flavor to savor. Mm -hmm. Guess you're lucky to not have the gene that makes it taste like toothpaste. Huh. To be honest, I don't even know what cilantro tastes like other than herb. Yay, pars yeah, parsley, yeah, parsley taste or minty taste. Who knows? You yeah. add a single slice of dried seaweed into the ramen, watching it quickly sink into the broth. A little bit sticks out of the broth, which will stay nice and crispy as you eat. Though you tend to eat it in one bite anyways. Mm. You add a little baby on the bottle. What more could you want? And the bottle is satisfyingly squishy. Mm. Uh, its full name is Narutomaki mm. and Arto. You feel like running with your arms thrown behind you as you lean forward almost parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. The Naruto Uzumaki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she appears. Okay, what are you going to say about it? Okay. Uh, that's the uh, low points late. Uh, focus on that. She okay. always used to appear to... Oh! I used to love miso broth. It's so simple, yet delicious. Have you tried making miso soup yourself? It's actually pretty easy. Maybe I can tell you about it next time. And, uh, he pleasure is all mine. Oh, uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, but then it says he. He? <laughs> uh, can I see what you've made for dinner tonight? Wait, wait. I think things got mixed up. 
Oh, I like this. The crispy exterior appears pairs well with the soft interior, and the tofu acts like a sponge that absorbs all the broth. Uh, be sure to leave a few pieces for the end of the meal. They'll be oh so flavorful. Ah, you are not cursed with a toothpaste cilantro gene like I am. How fortunate. Those taste is like good. This mm. tastes good for you. <laughs> personally, it, it, it tastes, personally, it tastes terrible. And I try to avoid it all, all times. Hmm. I'll consider your taste in my appraisal. Oh, I love adding a simple sheet of dried seaweed to my ramen too. Ah, I just let, I just wish it stayed crispy the whole time. <laughs> ah, do you ever just buy those cheap trays of uh, seaweed snacks and add them, uh, add the whole thing to your ramen? Ah, you should try it sometime. Oh, oh. <laughs> I remember there was a trend adding kipi, kipi, kipi. QP, um, mayo and instant ramen for a while back. <clears throat> Truly life changing for me. So many people added in their ramen and it was so creamy and delicious. And cute baby on the bottle. Oh, my childhood favorite. I always like saving the fish cakes and for last because uh, they tend to absorb the broth like tofu. Have you ever tried the other types of fish cakes though? The swirl pattern is based on the Naruto of Whirlpools by the Takashima. Takashima. Tokashima Prefecture. That's it. Tokashima. And then the of the mine, and that is hot diggity. <laughs> That's all for that. And then there's other combos and all that. And it broke. I went too fast for it. Well, yeah. it did say it would eventually break. Yeah. Oh, but R still works. You good, or do you want to look at one more? I don't know. The only thing is, like, putting ham, and I don't know what else Oh, it is. the revolutionary ham. Alright, let's see the ham. Let's see if you break it. Well, if I go even faster. New neck text. Oh. Yeah, it broke. Okay. Yeah, there's a certain amount of that. Alright, see you next time then. Bye.